just going to share with you a little bit what I'm working on in the kitchen. Today's going to be a little bit of an unusual Wednesday video because I'm going to be baking in the kitchen. It's very warm out, but the sun isn't shining, and I had some baking that I had to do. So, follow me as we work on today's Wednesday's vlog. So what I'm working on today is banana bread. Once a week I go through my pantry, I go through my refrigerator and see what I have to use up. And I have some bananas, so today I'm going to make banana bread. Now I already made this recipe way back in a video and I'll share the link to that video that it's more full in detail, but this is what I'm working on today. Now I do things a little different than some people who bake. I put everything together and then I mix it. So it calls for four medium bananas but I have five. We're going to add two large eggs. Somebody told me I can replace the vegetable oil for applesauce. So we're going to add one half cup of applesauce. Now I've never done this before so I'm going to give it a try. I really like my baked things to be nice and fluffy, so we'll see how I like it. And I'll show you at the end of the video what it looks like. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. one cup of sugar. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix this to blend the bananas all up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix it. The only thing we add is one and a half cups of flour. So we're going to add one and a half cups of flour. Go ahead and we're going to mix it again. And now I'm going to add walnuts. It calls for a half a cup, but I'm going to actually put a full cup in. And that's all it is to it. Banana nut bread. Four medium bananas. One teaspoon of baking soda. One half cup of vegetable oil. Or you can use applesauce, so I'm told. One cup of sugar. Two large eggs. One and a half cups of flour. One teaspoon of salt. And a half a cup of walnuts. We're going to go ahead. We're going to mix this up and then I'm going to put them in my mini loaf pans. Came from the cookbook, the family dinner cookbook. So the family dinner cookbook is where it comes from and the author is Debbie Harmon. So this is a really good cookbook and I use this for a lot of my baking. In fact, I have a lot of uh, recipes and videos using this book. My children, I can just hand them a small little loaf and they can eat it right away. It absolutely smells so delicious. So you want to fill your pans about maybe three quarters or half full. Place it in a preheated oven at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. Now with these mini loaves it won't take quite that long. When you, you know it's done when you put a toothpick in the center and it comes out clean. So the banana bread is all finished looks really really good and the toothpick comes out clear so now we have some banana bread and that's gonna last me quite a while I'll give some to my family and I'll put some in the freezer there's nothing like a little piece of banana bread when you want to have a snack but yet you want to have something that's a little healthier than candies and cookies I will admit the last couple days have been really challenging not just the weather but here in my life as well you know, we can take our challenges and we can turn them into something positive. And that's what I strive to do every single day. Many of you have to laugh when you hear me giggle and you love to see me smile. <laughs> you know, this is who I am. I think I was born smiling because I've always had a sunny disposition. Life throws us many challenges. Sometimes it's things we can't help sometimes it's things we can 
but always be true to yourself and true to the things that you are passionate about. Be true to the things that you enjoy in life. Can't wait to start sharing with you more intimate and detailed looks upon my life. Things I even haven't shared in the last three years. Imagine that. There's actually some things that I haven't shared yet. Oh, Tessie. As you know, I like to talk, but I really want to thank everybody. I didn't want to wait to Sunday to say thank you. I want to let you know that I'm doing great. And I really thank you for all of your words of wisdom, all of your kindness and your support. This is a learning experience and that's for sure. But I think when you hear my message on Sunday, you're going to understand a little bit where I've come from. And I think you're going to understand how my simple living is what was born with me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to share with you some more of my cooking videos. Like I said, I don't do a whole lot of major cooking videos in the summer. It's just so hot and without air condition, I think you can understand. Now I'm going to show you meals. Of course we eat and I'm going to share with you meals that I make, but they're going to be very simple meals. Once some um, scratch home cooking meals, I have playlists with hundreds of them on that I make during the winter time. So, time to take off these boots, get in the house, and work on some videos. Everybody and welcome to Fanny's Diary. We're going to go back a couple days because we missed some. So we're going to go back to June 17th and we will finish on June the 20th. June 17th, Fanny writes, and this is 1943, Daddy finished planting corn. The paper hanger came to hang our wallpaper. I put 21 quarts of peas in the locker. June 18th, I was at Lancaster and I visited Aunt Ella who is in the hospital. June 19th, which is today, Fanny writes, I canned cherries, 14 quarts and seeded 11 quarts. I have 52 quarts now in the locker. And I'm going to read to you June 20th. And Fanny writes, we had a doggy roast in the afternoon. Just so some of you don't realize, a doggy roast meant hot dogs. <laughs> Fanny never dreamed that people would be reading and hearing her diary. I find it so funny when she says about a doggy roast, because she says that often. And I know she meant hot dogs. and thank you so much for watching this video as I edit the video I just want to say thank you once again for all your love and support and thank you for doing all of the things that you know the YouTube creators like you to do it really makes me feel so blessed if you like my message that I am portraying here on YouTube and you like my content I'm asking you to do something that doesn't cost you a cent if you could just share my channel anywhere just share my channel anywhere, no matter where you are, if you're on Pinterest or on Facebook, anywhere. By sharing my channel is really, really what I am relying on. And I thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.
friends, it's been another great day here on the homestead. I hope you're staying warm, and I hope you have a real good night. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!